chat's working. That's what I'm trying to do. It's not! Go in there. Oh. Make sure my comments are working. Oh crap, I hope it's lined up. Oh yeah, it's working! Alright. Thank you, Andrew. All right, let's continue where we left off. Hi, best friend. Hey. I don't know why my comment section wasn't working earlier. All right, we're going to have to. So we got a new, we got three new characters. There's Beta, Tilda, which Tilda's good. I don't know what that is saying. Okay. Gerard, he's the bad guy. I think Eric's more bad. Eric is the primary enforcer of the Farzina faction. They returned to Earth after the destruction of their colony and the Sari system. During the 21st century, he must have been rich and powerful, and his demeanor suggests a military past. Cruel and sadistic, he enjoys inflicting pain, and he is armed with a powerful suit of weapons to help with the goal. He's the one that killed my... My sweet Varl. I love, I love Varl. I'm not, I'm not even going to say that he's dead because I don't believe it. Oh my god, poor Zo. There's my man right there. Why do they have the same face? Hi, Nick. Is that just me or do they have the same face? Like, eyes, mouth, nose, everything is identical, except for the beard. All right. Oh, look at Rost. Look at, like, Joel over there. Look, they have the same face, too. I thought he looked familiar when we met him. Oh, he's number one on here. Rightfully so. Hi, Solomon. All right. I told you I'd be back. Y'all, I'll tell you what, an electric fence for a dog is ridiculous. That thing was $300. So I'm gonna need all the stars this month. I'm just kidding. Actually, if I get my pay what it's supposed to be this month, or this coming month, I should get all my double stars. Which is like, we'll see. I'm not even gonna hope for it because. When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood, 
Hey, can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we gonna do, huh? Take on all of Hi, James. rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. I just started. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off on that Zenith Eric. The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I... Need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Akaro. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenith. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, Meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We you fucking are. right. Good. You fucking A right. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. I'm checking on my boyfriend first. I thought you were gonna go fight some Tanakh. I wanted to check in with you first. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just, you know, picking up the pieces like everyone else. I'll be there when you need me. I never doubted that. Oh, good. I'm glad you're back. So am I. I know you hate waiting, but you'll have to stay back here a little longer. Well, you go do what you gotta do, but are you okay? It's not just Varl we lost. Beta's gone. But I almost lost it when I realized my sister had been taken by Durval back in the sun. I'm getting her back. That's all that matters. Understood. Oh, he caught her, my sister. So we'll be okay. I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. I can't tell you she's handling it better than I am. Sorry, my alarm is going off on my phone, waking everybody up. I missed what he said about love. Hi, David. Anybody take you up on the- Zoe can't stand the smell of it. I tried it. And what about the top? I know, pretty sure. Anybody take you up on that air? Zoe okay. can't I, I know, there's pretty sure we down. Uh, you better get there before Katala tries to take on Regala's. Uh, do me a favor. Don't go disappear. I'll do my best. Hurry. 
You look busy. My studies are a good distraction. Varl, Beta, Gaia, Gone. Yep, I'm back, Neil. The Zenus want to rob us of our future, too. We won't let that happen. Tilda, the Zenith that Beta mentioned, she was the one who rescued me. Did she say why? She knew Elizabeth Sobek. Seems to think helping me is honoring her in some way. Thank you for the stream. Well, I had to go get a collar. But you still don't trust Fence thing for my dog. Where I come from, the more valuable the knowledge shared, the higher the price extracted. I'd be careful if I were you, Aloy. Um, I had to go before it closed. That's why I ended live. I didn't want to. So, all of the tribes here are new to you? Yes. I've been, the most fascinating one thus far has been the Tanakht. An entire culture based on the holograms of, there's much they've misinterpreted. Not unlike the Quen. But still, there's a nobility to what they've become. They're honorable. And deadly. How are you holding up? Varl's loss is heavy on everyone's mind. I didn't know him well, but I can Zoe and Aaron seem to have taken to it though. But I don't quite know what to say to them. They need time. This is through it. And what about you? Will time heal your wounds? I don't know. But you're not to think about it. Good day, Russell. Still so get 1.58 a.m. play in Minecraft story mode, the complete adventure. <laughs> David! Seems like everyone's ready to take the fight to the Patalo more than most. If I were this Regala, I wouldn't want to cross him on the- Regala still has a lot of machines. That's where you come in. If my plan works. I should get going. Be ready to go on my sip. I won't let you down. I know. Feels empty in here without Gaia. I knew she had something to say. <gasps> I didn't mean to do that, but fine. Let me turn all these off. Me and three other mates got five wins in a row yesterday in Fortnite. Congratulations, Russell. Alright. Where is Varl? Where do they have him at?
Oh. Over here, am I? We would come out here to tend to the garden. It's easy to make friends on there. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. She's got to be pregnant or something, so if he's really dead. It seemed fitting that he'd be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out a plain sun. Further east to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her Hi, Chris. golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower gathered its seeds. From death follows new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. I knew the child. Gave I knew it! I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms and watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him to thank him. I'm gonna cry. Saving my life, sure, but also for not giving up on me. He always did. to look after them. Get ready for an entrance where Gala will never forget. Ah. Hi, Fabricio. Thank you for stopping Regala's war. Yes. Then I'll make sure the rest of us are ready upon your return. Okay. I know we both want to make the Zenas pay for what they've done, but once we infiltrate their base, 
Our priority will be to get Gaia and Beta out of there. Don't worry. I won't go seeking revenge like some blood craze tonight. All right, Neil, I'll be here. Hero strikes. Mine will follow. Let's hope we hit our targets. We'll be facing Spectre drones soon. Aaron and Katalo. I already asked them to run us through some combat drills. Aaron moves like an oaf, but he's good with that hammer. It's glitchy. There, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. But he never truly said despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. I need to get going. Whatever you plan on doing against Regala, you better return to us in one piece. I'll try. I'll try. Why is it glitchy? Didn't think you'd be back so soon. Tilda's the one who rescued me. Same one. Did she say why she saved you? She knew Elizabeth Sobek. She was willing to share information on both Silence's plans and the other Zeniths. But you still don't trust her. Where I come from, the more the higher the price extract, I'd be careful if I were you. I should get going. Why is it lagging? Hi, Nick. Oh, hold on, pause. Yo, give me a second, I'm gonna pause. I think my, my computer's trying to update. Andrew. I'm gonna see if I can't pause this. What do you think you'll play next? I gotta finish the Five Nights at Freddy's, remember? I need to pause this update. Uh, 
Oh, it's not going to let me pause it, you guys. Two, four. Yep. It's not going to let me pause this update. I'm. After that, I down. I plan the Mortal Kombat game. The story mode of the Mortal Kombat game. And then after that. I might go back and do all the Kingdom Hearts. One, two. I'm not going to redo three. I've already done it. If you want to watch it, you can go watch it. It's in. All my old videos are saved, so it's in there somewhere. Um. But, uh. I might go back. And, I don't know yet. We'll see. I do know that the next two games are. Well, I got to finish. Um. Fuck. What's up, Andrew? Uh, I gotta finish Five Nights at Freddy's, and then I gotta play Mortal Kombat. So, I don't think so. I think it's me. Actually, I'm pretty positive it's me. Apex Stalker Heart? Roller back? I mean, I'm literally wearing this right now, so I have to upgrade this. I need a rock breaker mining call. Hi, Travis. Three is the most fun Kingdom Hearts. So, Kingdom Hearts 2 and DDD are spread. I played it, though, Andrew. I've already beat it. I've already streamed it and beat it. I've already beat them all, okay? Let me... I beat every single Kingdom Hearts game there is, except for... Birth by Sleep. I've started Birth by Sleep, but I haven't beat it. I think I was in the Monsters, Inc. world whenever I finished. I can't remember. Uh, it's been so long. Uh, but I've played one. I'm actually playing one again right now. I've played two. I, my favorite, actually, is 356 Day. 356 slash 7 Days, whatever. The is it 352 slash 7? I don't know. It's something like that. That's my favorite Kingdom Hearts game so far. But I've streamed number 3. So if I was to stream the Kingdom Hearts series, I would stream number 1, 2, Birth by Sleep, Rechain of Memories, Recoded, which I think is Rechain of Memories. I'm not sure. Uh, 357 Days, if it'll let me. Uh, BBS, I only be Vintage Story. Breath of Sleep? Ah, uh, okay. Hi, Dean! How are you gorgeous? I'm good, Travis. But yeah, I would... I, I would play it, I just... I gotta be able to ride flying machines. See, I still have a lot of cauldrons. Like one, two, three. I have like three cauldrons at least. Override installed. Now to find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. Uh, I'm gonna clean my gear a little. 
how to do yours if you want. And then, of course, don't mention it. Oh, he's trying to be nice. She's having a baby. She's having Varl's baby. Oh, they are at the top of the mountain, because what's his name told me that? I remember. I remember. Okay, I need to find a sunwing to override. Better head up the mountain. Actually, I'm gonna get one of these sunwings, and then I'm going to, um, I'm gonna do the fly quest that I have. First to fly. I don't have wings of the ten. Oh, that's what I'm doing now. Y'all gotta pee. Hold up. I should have done that before I hit go live, but sorry. Y'all have to put up with me. It's just I'm mean, what can I say? Like, you love me.
Where's the cooking drink? No. Hi, Gary. All right. Did you not hear my dog losing his absolute mind? Kitty litter. Good. There are siblings up here. We'll have to approach them quietly. Alright, this is cool. Tilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient horse types. Yeah, where are you tonight? I'm good. How are you, Dean? Nice ride you got there. He's fancy, ain't he? The feet's a little pterodactyl. I like me riding on pterodactyl. I like that there, pterodactyl. That didn't even sound like English. I like that there, pterodactyl. That's what I was trying to say, but it didn't come out right. Whatever. Yeah. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. Oh, this is the one that I couldn't do earlier. There's a tall neck. Need to get on top of its head. Slow down and hover in place. R1 to ascend. R2 to descend. No, how to land this thing? I took a nap in the car and okay, I, I had all tonics overridden. I've done all the tonics. There ain't no way because there's got to be a tonic right here. Guess not.
I don't understand why I'm hoarse, honestly. We're in the tonic. Good. And the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on the forest. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you. I want to help. I just woke up like this. And this is a pterodactyl. It's one of their pterodactyls. Tonic should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any horse I tried to. Pretty useful, even after I didn't have Welcome back, sweets. Horizon Zero Dawn. We couldn't fly. I know, right, Andrew? Oh no, it's already started. Disabled all their machines. I speak thing. Nice. Is that? It's Aloy. She flies on the wings of the ten. The tide has turned. Push through. <laughs> and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! Enough bloodshed! 
Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're on top of a machine. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. I was gonna say they're gonna want me fight this bitch myself, aren't they? Let me check, make sure I have the best possible equipment on that I can. I do. not working. Where's my one arrow? Battlefield, this is it right here. This is where it ends. Yeah. Damn right. It is. Take the honor. Live on as a memory.
That's all she uses. Some bullshit. I just did, Solomon. Hi, Brandon. Here I am. Upon my knees before bootlegs and cowards. Go ahead. Run me through. Shut your mouth. And you whooped her ass. Traitor. Thank you. It was you who flew in on the wings of the ten. You who challenged her by our rights, you must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She's dangerous, all right. Hi, Tristan. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die. Your life ends here. This isn't easy. There's another battle ahead. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. Oh. Thrillbro says hi, and I came to say hi also, Grin. My brother's the best. You tell him I love him. Whether to kill or spare Regala is probably the biggest decision that players will need to make in Horizon Forbidden West. All right, I'm about to read this because I don't want to make I don't want to ruin my game. Here are the consequences. First time players would certainly be forgiven for thinking that rebel 
Rebel, during the opening stages of Horizon, first time players would certainly be forgiven for thinking that Rebel leader Regala is the game's main antagonist. Ultimately, it is revealed that there are much bigger and better threats for Aloy and her companions to worry about. Though, that's not to say that Regala doesn't still pose a very real risk to the real Forbidden West. With the help of Silence and the Sons of the Premises. Also in the last minute, saves the day, comfortably defeating the leader. Once the dust is settled, player must decide whether to kill or spare her. And what probably ends up being the single most important decision in the game. Minimal spoilers. Should the player kill or spare Regala? Uh, unlike the game's other big decision, which requires players to choose whether... With, All right. I don't remember making choosing a side between Draka and Ra Yara. This can have very real con killing her can have very real consequences, both in terms of the narrative and the equipment that's available to Aloy. For those wondering, the this is an easy option doesn't actually do anything either. So the choice. Facing players really is very simple. Kill or spare. Have fun, enjoy, and rock on. Have Going to bother your brother more. Aww. Well, thank you for the stars, Tristan. Now have a good time with my brother. He's a pain in my butt, but I love him. Without giving too much away, those who don't want to miss out on a cool scene near the end of the game should choose to spare Regala. On the other hand, players who prefer to receive a unique sharpshoot, I don't even use a sharpshoot bow, should choose the killer. It is worth nothing, though, it's worth noting, though, that there are better sharpshooter bows available in the game. Most notable, the Forge Fall, which is available as an arena prize and is of legendary quality rather than very rare. Oh, thanks, Nick. Anytime. It's fun. He's a butthead, Amy. But it is fun. Thank you, Nick. Right. I don't really care about the bow. And honestly, you can already see that I was going to save her. Because it's on the heart. Not that this is an easy part. So, I've, I've used my heart the whole game, pretty much. I don't think I've used anything else other than my heart this whole game. So, we're going to spare her. I'm not, I'm not here, here to, to forgive, forgive you for your crimes, but there's another battle ahead against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people, a squad, that's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. Silence would have gave me her bow. 
I thought I killed her. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold. And the Mountie's new plane song. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there is something you both need to see. In the throne room. Who is that? He surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Ragal. So, stated. It's for her alone. From an interested party. It's silence. That motherfucker. She got what she wanted. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You say you try. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. Bracelets are ripping my pink hair out, and I'm not liking it. Do you have any idea what you just done? Oh, it's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Zenas. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we were up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. Go on. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I ever do that? Because, because I'm the I only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Tilda, you there? I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. Can you comply? Are you the only one listening to these voices? Oh, no. The others who captured the Osaram Delver heard the voices. They spread the word, and now a lot of people are talking about soldiers are interested in old battle. I've brought you more of the voices here. Another chance to learn about this lot. More voices saved. I hope you find... So, Aloy. 
You've added yet another deed to your name. And I'm guessing by the look in your eyes that you're not done yet. Not quite. Is there anything we can do? We owe you that much. After everything you've been through, you're one of the best people to support Hikaru's bid for peace. Not just between the clans, but with the Karja too. Then I will. You have my word. And until my last breath, I'll make sure the tribe remembers all that you've done for us. After everything Regala did. I need to upgrade it. All right, let me do this first to fly. This is the mountain where that Tanakh throws it like a storm bird. Rika's armor should be around here somewhere. of Farika's armor. There must be more. I don't like the sound of that. Oh my god! I can feel this frost down to my bones. Whoa! You must be the Stormbird that killed Farika! You knock me off the snout and we're gonna fight. He's right above me. I mean, I know we're already fighting, but like.
keeps disappearing. That's pissing me off. Play in the snow, you stupid girl. Fuck this shit. See, he moves faster than I can with my bow. This is bullshit. This is, why is he so hot? Why is my, bull, my bow, first of all, pulling so slow? was the hardest thing I've fought on this game yet. No lie. <laughs> Let me heal you. Could look around with my focus. Does it have a motion sequence trying to shoot anywhere? No. But it would be nice if it did. It would make my life a lot easier. to look for her stuff. Maybe my focus can help you. I've already used it like five times. Aha. Another armor 
Looks like another bit of armor. I guess that's it then. I should let the Tanakh know I recovered what's left of Farika's kit. I want to see what that bird is. Craig. It's a pigeon. Three, eight, six, eight, thirty, thirty, eight, twenty-five, thirty, 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 th
Hi, Warren. You guys, I have so many coils. It's ridiculous. That I haven't even used. I'm sure I got some off that dang storm bird. That's new. Oh, no, it was that green slap. Yeah. Hey, uh, you back on, dude. Duh. Fly to the shipwreck. Thanks, the news. for the like oh that's right I gotta go here like in here somewhere don't act like you ain't happy to see me because we all know you are ecstatic that I'm here we'll let you know when it's ready to stop thank you Look at that. Look at that big chunk of freaking smoke I just cleared. Machines. I'm gonna be careful. Should be able to look that gyro compass with my focus. I fell farther than I thought. sell all this stuff I got. There's no compass here. The machines could have scavenged it out of the wreckage. I should check any scrap piles left around the island, just to be sure. I can tell this used to be like a bridge or something. Well, welcome back, turn nugget. Let's hope I can find the gyro compass in one of those scrap piles. I 
Is there any over here? Curly play an Elden Ring. Loser! They better not hurt my bird. Fox isn't gonna do much. Somebody don't know how to cut jeans and chips. Sounds like you're getting a cold. Hope you feel better. Thank you, Andrew. I don't know. I took a nap in the car on the way to the doctor, and ever since then, like, I've been stuffy. Like, I woke up like this. make things easier. I don't see any more of their things though. Like I've searched them all. Oh, never mind. Maybe not. Oh no, I didn't. It's right here. That's it. I do sound pretty rough. Hey, ancestors. You're, You're back. back. Is that? I'm sorry. 
It is broken. Our last hope. No. There has to be a way to fix it. How? We just need to replace the batteries and the sensor unit. Right, because they're just lying around the jungle for us to find. Wait. The ancient fleet. It might have what we need. What ancient fleet? When we abandoned our ship, we were washed ashore on a beach southwest of here. There were ships built by the ancestors there. Overseer Bohai will never let us go there. He won't risk losing any more navigators. He needs us to guide the fleet home. No one's going home without a working gyro compass. I can get them for you. You'll need to look for a sensor unit. They're usually on a ship's antenna. And batteries. Three of them. They're small, so they might be hard to find. I've got something for that. We put our faith in you once again, Ancestor. I can't, quit. I can't put it down right now. I'm invested. Get, went out to get the dog a new um, a fence thing. Dustin saw, heard me talking about um, Chick Fil A, and he bought me some. From we were out. No, I got a tooth in the back that's not the best. And I just bit down on that chicken and it hurt. was done. Thank you.
Where'd all the pieces go? There was something right there I missed. This is actually a rare part that I need. I to find ancient ships in this area. I should take a look. She won't be bothered by acid. Shipwreck on the beach. There, a sunken ship. Maybe it has what Harry and Christian need to fix the gyro compass. Thank you. 
This is the USS Anchorage, hailing anyone who's left. The Medina, the Omaha, and the New Orleans are down, and the swarm just cracked the Harris open like an egg. Incoming! Hold on! Oh, the lead Horus is heavily damaged. If we can concentrate fire, maybe we can still take it down. I think we've got a ping on the handle, Tim! Lost it! Sensors down! We're sailing blind! It sounds like those sensor units are picking up. They were trying to reach other ships. Guess I should find the batteries now. My focus should pick them up. I should use my focus to spot the parts carrying the Christian Ring. Focus picked up coordinates from that transmission, huh? There's more shipwrecks there. We might have an access to them. Faster way to get to those coordinates, I found. Swing and order games. Yeah, I don't like it. I know the feeling. I'm not feeling like this either. Oh, I hope you feel better. X, hover up, arterial land, circle to break, square to this.
sorry, I don't mean to creep you out, Wayne. There's... Is this California? Well, that ship has an antenna. I dread when you perched on it. Great. Gonna have to deal with it before I can look for the sensor the Quen need. Fire. They're weak against fire. They flee every time. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Am I gonna have, do I have to kill this thing before I can do this? Because he left. And like, I can't fight something that's not here. Aren't they?
This thing does this every time I fight it. Okay, we should be able to check out that antenna. See, it wouldn't let me check out the antenna until I did it. I don't think that's fair. It's like, I tried. I was just over here too, dude. That's stupid. And that's it right there. I walked right over to that because I had a feeling that was what it was. An intact sensor unit. There should be all the Harry and Christie I need. Looks like there's one more transmission in here. This is the Hamilton. Anchorage, your transmission is been received. Targeting the Lincoln Orus. Just lost the Starlink missile battery. Can't fire. We're empty. Damn it. Captain, there's nothing left to fire. Your orders. Set a course for the Horus chassis. Ramming speed. Ending, is it? Thank you for the share. Deuces, baby. I don't know what just happened there. Thank you. I'll get working on the gyro compass immediately. I'm coming home, Leandra. You've done us a great kindness, Aloy. Christy is not the only one with people waiting back home. She'll be able to fix that gyro compass in no time. We'll never oh. be able to thank you enough. I hope I get to see Varl's son. If you need anything, tell Bohai to contact Alva. I'm sure she can help. May the ancestors steer us true. I'm not missing a lot of hardly any data. Well, except for these. And I haven't done the sa sandwich contracts or the RCCs yet. I haven't really. I'm missing notebooks, museums. I'm only missing one relic ruin. I can't trade that out. I can take that out though. Twelve and thirty-two. Kitty never steers me wrong. He's such a good friend. All right.
I love that. That looks like that looks like balls right there. And like there's a space between that, the leaner and the balls. I'm childish, I'm sorry guys. There's a lot of big chunk guys. I guess I'm before I have. That sure hurts. Yeah, but it melts fast. Have you ever swallowed a butterscotch candy before? That shit hurts. And it dissolves, but not as fast as ice does. Like, I was like 10, maybe 10. Like, yeah, I think I was about 10. And I swallowed a whole butterscotch piece of candy and it was stuck in my throat I could breathe because I was like crying and screaming and like trying to like massage my throat that hurt we all need to express our inner child it is extremely imperative for our spiritual and psychological life. I always apologize for being human have you met me I quit and It is. It's, it was the worst thing ever. How you doing? What the heck? Come on, Gaia. I want to hear your rumors. I see you, champion. There's someone in Arrowhand who's been looking for you, champion. Goes by the name of Morala. 
Sounded like he had something important to discuss. I'll try to stop by Arrowhand when I can, then. It wasn't as that, that bad. I wasn't gasping or anything like that. It was just... I'm dramatic anyway. Oh, I bought that one. I was like, I want that. Actually, no, not really. Yours, because I got your best shit that you had to offer. Here comes the good shit. Here we go. Ready? Everybody ready? Hey, Where's the music? I know it all is here. You know, your focus is on the smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Sorry, Warren. Well, Silence. Looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Zenith base. You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades Proofing Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. Scared the fuck out of him. The company you keep is Hey, Mandy, I have some not so good news. Oh, Jordan. I hope you feel better. Listen to me. I'm probably right in the same boat with you. No. No, don't say that, because I don't want to have COVID. I do have a sore throat, though. Even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Aaron. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Is here. Why don't get everyone in the control room? I hope they can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. Hey, and... Yeah? I was thinking if it's far for a bit. When you have the time. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, of course. I have a way to deal with this. Anger. 
Oh, Aaron's the best. Aloy, it appears that we have some interesting. I'm glad to see you're okay, though. I heard you gave the Tanakh something to talk. I was half expecting you to burst in through the ceiling riding a sunwing. Sorry to disappoint. How to go with the corp? I thought God of the Earth to be from their love. Thoughts on our new. I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. She's more like a cold piece of metal, bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's definitely different. Ready to head over to the safe place? I am. Whatever comes, we will endure. Look at that! Almost a year. Have you talked to any of our? Aaron and I tried speaking to Silence. But apparently our tribal prattle is unnecessary. Charming, isn't he? I don't know. I have to we'll make sure Aaron doesn't punch silence in the face, if that's what he thinks. You... you flew? Kotalo told me! And took out... Reg you know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. I saw we have visitors and a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zenith? Almost. I suppose you saw that Tilda is here, our very own Zenith. I almost went up to her to ask her, well, every question I've ever had about the legacy. Every diviner I know would kill to get five minutes with one of the old ones. But now that she's here, all I feel is a vague unease. I don't know if I'm scared of finding out more uncomfortable truths, or just scared of her. Probably both. I would be scared of both. I'm sure you're okay with her on this mission. Term. I know things must be happening. It was like that earlier war, and it just got worse. Honestly, at nighttime, sickness hits harder. I don't know why, but earlier it was there. If you go back and watch the video, you'll hear it. It just wasn't as bad. At nighttime, if I'm sick at all during the day, my fever will come down. But at night... I don't care if I took the best antibiotic and Tylenol or whatever. Hi, Gary. My fever or whatever will shoot up. So, like, it's for some weird reason, I get sicker at night than I am during the day, no matter what. So, tomorrow, my voice will sound better. Or if it sounds worse in the morning, tomorrow night, it'll sound worse than it does. And, like, if that makes any sense. It's always worse that night. Always. Apparently, if you have a cold, you most likely have COVID as well, particularly Omicron COVID. Don't tell me that, Jordan. Admin who thought they were ancestors reborn. Why not a few immortals with lethal drones at their command, too? That's the more the merrier. Are you okay? I was wondering, is it really she seems angry? The kind of angry. Don't worry. We're going to point that anger at the Zenith. If you say so. I hope our new guests have been behaving. The Silence. He's the one who built the weapon that can take down Z. He is. Though I wouldn't expect him to answer any questions about it. He refuses to dole out his secrets to us, lesser mortals. Oh. You know that special part of us that makes us warm, kind? Welcoming. Our spirit? Yeah. He was born without that. I mean, it's true, Russell. He was born without a spirit. Well, I'm just sorry, dude. So it's being sick, right? Take a table of soup and a honey. I might. I might do that. I've got I some. I need to wrap up a few things. I'll be ready when you. There's Gwen stuff in here now. 
Must be all of us. I see you've got your new arm ready to go. Yes. It still feels strange. I've gotten used to the absence, but no matter. I'm sure I will need it before the attack on the Zenith base is through. I got all kinds of stones and stuff like that. Like, look at my arms. These are all real, too. These are all real crystals. This is a lava bracelet. This is obsidian. I'm not sure what this is. Then I've got, um... This is not, this is just beads, but this is rose quartz, like three different kinds of rose quartz. And then I have amethyst too. And then I've got like, I've got legit all kinds of stone. I'm like surrounded by rocks right now. Like over there. And like, yeah. Haven't seen you since the Battle of the Grove. I saw you fly on the wings of the ten. And I would say that. Thank you. I guess. I guess. I, who should be thanking you? As you say, <laughs> you have to earn my trust. Look, I know you're probably not happy about keeping Regala around, but I want her on our side when we fight the Zeniths. It is more than she deserves. Thank you, Katala. Never a hug. Your people keep mentioning the wings of the ten. The visions tell us that the ten flew on great metal machines with wings. Airplanes. And leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. It is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. And now... You have done it. <laughs> like the deeds of the ten themselves. It will never be forgotten. So? She made history. Tell me. How did it feel? How did it feel? It had to be oh, badass. Nice. Pretty good. I can only imagine. I have to go. It's true, it's freezing out my end. It lagged out a couple times, Russell. Is it good now? Back out and come back in. There you are. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Reservations you managed to secure silence and his weapon. It's okay. You're truly a shining example of his fortitude. I've been thinking about what you said at your house. How you were friends with Elizabeth. It was more than that, wasn't it? Perceptive as ever. You're right, we were together for a time. Okay, so what happened? I was an orphan. I had always been alone. By my 30s, I was starting to wonder if that was simply my fate in life. She was in love with her, not her mother. We kept running into each other at conferences. We'd have coffee. At some point, it became drinks. I thought it was just shop talk, an exchange of ideas, but then I was surprised at how much I looked forward to seeing her. Soon we were she was in love with her. Across the world every other week just to meet up. For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. I could imagine a future where I wasn't. I think Liz felt the same way at first. 
She had lost her mother a few years back. I filled a void for her. I know I did, but as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less. So helping me, restoring Elizabeth's dream, it's what, a, a second chance, yes. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. I should have done more. So when I saw you, a woman who has carved her own remarkable path, beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon, I knew I had to help you. Oh, I bet she's going to end up with Peter. To do right by her. You said before that you're not like the others, Enos. That you never were. But you went along with all of their plans. Out of necessity. I'm not proud of it. But complicity became a means of survival. Both when Earth was consumed and when the colony on Sirius was destroyed. I did what I had to. But I resolved to remain one step ahead of the others to try to undo what damage I could. Hence the data channel with Beta. The secret passage into their base and the little trick I pulled to save you. Why did you make the data channel look like your house? I built that house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place, not just for me, but for the art stored in its depth. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I can't wait for his cage to get here. Or not his cage, but his fence to get here. Like, it's electric. It's like an electric fence thing that plugs into the wall. It's wireless. So he can't go out of the yard. Sorry, I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter. Even more than I did. So, Eric... Was he always a bloodthirsty psychopath? I'm here now, and I'm not going to... I believe he okay. got worse over time. Well, thank you. On Earth, he was the founder of a profitable private military company. A band of cutthroats, in other words. Even as governments abandoned human combatants in favor of automated... He found success with clientele that required a more... There were also rumors that he personally hunted and killed his targets. All right, good. On occasion, all for the thrill of it. But on Sirius, he retreated to virtual realities. In them, he could go on rampages as violent as though I suspect with diminishing satisfaction. All of us try believes he was one of the greatest people from the old world. Then they would be quite disappointed to meet him. Though I'm sure he'd bask in the adoration. What can you tell me about Gerard? He was the head of the world's largest financial and as such had dealings with almost every major. It made him one of the wealthiest people and certainly the wealthiest among Farzina. What does one person do with that much money? Buy more, more power, more imp Gerard's always believed himself to be a refined, able to maintain control with a polished smile. But beneath that exterior is a cold and calculating operator. It was his decision okay, Russell. to restrict Beta's upbringing. This is going to be a shock. So, I, okay, let me start by saying, Lauren, I am 100% against shock callers. I think they're cruel and wrong. I don't believe in them at all. It's kind of like a shock caller. It will, it'll beep really loud when he gets to, like, there's going to be flags where he can't go past. And once he starts getting to where the flag is at, it'll beep really loud 
so he knows to back up. And after that, um, if he goes past it, it will give him like it, it almost like a like a tiny little pinch. It won't hurt him bad. Like it he ain't gonna be out there like like hurt, you know. But the further he goes, the stronger it'll get. So that way he'll come back into the yard. Because I don't want him. He is pit. He, there is pit in him 100%. And I don't want him to get out and hurt somebody. Like, he, when he attacked that neighbor lady, he scared me. I really did it. I was really shocked because I've never seen him do that before. Um, granted, we only had him a week. Like, he showed up out of nowhere. I'm doing everything I can. I just spent $300 on a dog that got dropped off in my yard. Like, so, um, I don't believe in shot collars. I never, I've always hated it. I always thought it was wrong or whatever. But I'm doing what I think is best by him to keep him from getting hurt or in trouble. Like, I don't want someone to shoot him. I don't want him to attack somebody and then get put down. Like, I'm trying... Yeah, I'm keeping him. I'm good, Billy. How are you? But I am against shock collars. It's not something that I can just push the button and sh it'll shock him. It's not like that. It's something that will keep him in our yard. And it will shock him a little bit if he tries to leave. So that way I can keep him out of the neighbor's yards. Um, I don't want him... F there our whole neighborhood... Is full of big dogs. The neighbor right beside us has a real solid gray with like a little, couple of white patches on him, pit. And they're both male. I need to take him and get him fixed for sure because I don't want, I think if I get him fixed, he'll become a little bit more lazy. Not so aggressive. Um, but the whole neighborhood is full of big dogs, and I don't want him fighting with other dogs and jumping up on people and trying to bite them. Like, he's only jumped at one person, like I said, and that lady held a rake to his face, so. And when she came in my yard, he, with, she was angry. He, I think he sensed her vibe, like, she was angry. She was, um, like, I don't know, she was very offensive. Like, the way she was acting, and, uh, he, he leapt at her. She kept walking at him. When you see a dog barking at you and, like, growling, you don't walk towards them. You back up, because that's what, that, I would have never walked towards him if he was barking and growling at me like that. That dumb bitch walked towards him, and he leapt up and grabbed her sweater. He didn't hit her arm. No skin was touched. It was her sweater. But, and then I, I jumped down. I grabbed him and I pulled him up on the porch. I held him between my thighs and around the neck. And I don't know. I love my dog. I like him. He's cute. He's sweet. To me, my kids, he protects my kids. That's the biggest thing. And here's another thing. We have another, other kids around the neighborhood that they like to go play with. And Nikolai hasn't been able to go play with Landon. Grace hasn't been able to go down to Raven or Elizabeth because he follows them down there. And their parents don't want him down there because he's a big dog. And that's, Elizabeth has a cat. He chased their cat up a tree, you know. Um, Nikolai's friend down there, he, his mom has little, little, little kids. Hi, Peterson. They're good dogs. He's a good dog. He's just protecting. He's very, very protective of me and the kids. And I just want to keep him in the yard and out of trouble. Like, I love him. He's a, We've named him. His name is Scar. We've got Nala, Simba, and now we got Scar. When we found him, he, he was attacked by another animal. I don't know if he, it was a dog or something hurt him. So, like, his eye is, like... It's healing a lot now. Whenever we first found him, his eye wouldn't even open. Now it's opened. He's got like a couple dings on his head. So we named him Scar. Showing fear can provoke an attack. Dogs need to know that you are the alpha pack leaker. Yeah. She can't. She was in my yard. At, what can she do? 
what can she do? She was in at my house, in my yard. He didn't go down to her house and attack her. She was in my front yard. Well, she didn't put and she walking did. at him at, while he was barking. And I told her to back up and just go, go on. And she didn't listen. But he didn't actually bite her, so she can't really do anything. He bit her sweater, and she can't prove that. Shut it. Hi, Joey. If you say anything, Thank you for the share, Boa. If you, tell, if you say anything about me, get, tell him on the doggy who's a good boy for doing that, and I'm in trouble. I, so he, he's not going to be able to okay, chase. After I'm Sunday, gonna... he ain't going to be able to chase y'all down the road anymore and stuff because. He's not going to chase us. He can't. He won't, if he does, it'll hurt him. So don't, don't, intru don't try to get him hurt. No, I thought we were on the, on my, on, on my skateboard. He'll learn not to come out of the yard eventually. He was, he was. And I'm not angry at him for that, Russell. He's a good dog. I just don't want him to get himself in trouble. Hmm. I don't want anyone to, like, shoot him or something for being in their yard. And they have dogs, too. Like... Because he will bark at everything. He keeps the squirrels off my porch. He's he's a good dog, and I really like him. I love I do I love him. So I just spent three hundred dollars on a dog, so to keep him in our yard. So I gotta love him somehow, somewhat. I just don't want him to hurt anybody. That's my biggest fear, and that's why I went and got this. It's pet friendly. I read about, I read up on it before I bought it. It's not going to hurt him. Like, I would never do something to hurt an animal. I'm the biggest animal lover in the world. Thank you, Jordan. But, yeah. Digital educators. The avatars of the Apollo database. While we were painted as her, her benefactors. benefactors. Well, we'll deal with him soon enough. And the others. I would very much like to see his face when he realizes we've beaten. When I was in the ruins of Vegas, I he found data on a man named yeah, Stanley Chen. Exactly, Warren. Was That's what I'm trying Stanley, to do. ever the optimist. He was one of the good ones. When we established our colony, he built an exact replica of Las Vegas. In I've seen him chase other cats up a tree. So, my cats don't have a tree to climb in my house. I don't want him to hurt anybody or anything. Or the guinea pigs. We got little pigs. I don't want him to hurt the pigs. So, yeah. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to have something to keep him safe from getting in trouble. Because I can't claim him as my dog right now. He doesn't have a collar or anything. And if he was to go down and do something to somebody or hurt somebody, like today, tonight or tomorrow or whatever, they would put him down. And I would definitely refund my money on that stupid fence. But right, I'm doing my best that I can right now. Lights, shows, gambling, every detail perfectly recreated. Wow. And while others cloistered themselves in their own fantasies, he flung his doors wide to everyone. The way you're talking about him, I'm guessing he didn't make it back to Earth. No, he perished when our colony was destroyed. Aww. He would have been thrilled to discover that part of his beloved city survived. When Beta escaped and hid in an ancient I saw another one of the Zeniths for Beta. Who was she? A dull star amidst a sea of brighter, unlike most of Far Zenith's members who amassed their wealth through shrewd business deals and technological achievements. Verbena inherited her billions. Her father had achieved great success in the luxury holotourism industry. At age 24, she became the world's most eligible bachelorette, branding herself a life designer, someone who leverages their fame to influence the choice of others. What? Like a cult? In a way, yes. Well, she must have done Got something love. right to Jesus. have survived this long. Name George. She was her own brand of ruthless. That much is true. Answer my comment. But even rats can cling to a vessel for escape. Wait a minute, Dean.
What just happened? All I saw was you said, I hope that lady doesn't press charges. Oh yeah, I'm keeping the dog. Yes. Okay, so I've had run-ins with a handful of Zeniths. What about the rest? He's my baby. Of the wealthiest people on earth, titans of their industries. Well, let me guess. All selfish. Most, but no, no. There were a few with whom I got along. Annika Merjani, for instance, was always delightful. She founded the Holonet's most successful dance I wonder if she's and was herself mesmerizing. To buy her. or just for And I had fascinating discussions with Song Jiao about her work in cellular biology. Our immortality treatments are due in part to her achievements. But then there were others like Devin Miller, the CEO of a fast food printing corporation. His only real preoc. She, she was upset um, because she's not my neighbor. She lives. At, she is my neighbor, but she's like all the way at the end of the road. There's a cul-de-sac at the end of the road. She's all the way down there. And she was upset because he, the kids went down the street. They were playing on their skateboards. And he follows them up and down the street to make sure that there's... I, I think he's just making sure they're safe and he wants to play with them. He gets up on their trampoline and while they're jumping on it. And he get, he climbs up there with them. I'm not... I'm dead serious. Like, they'll be on that trampoline out there and he will jump up there with them. And no matter where they go in the neighborhood, he, he has to go. He's going to make sure they're safe and play with them. Um, so they were, it was, it was kind of late. It was like 8, 30, 9. They were playing on their skateboard outside and they went all the way down there. And I guess their dog started barking at him and he started barking back. And then she came out with a fork, uh, not a fork, but a rake. And was like, get that damn dog out of here. Threatened to hit him. So the kids brought him home and I told him, you know, just come on inside. So that way he don't get in any more trouble and he don't hurt nobody. You guys just stay down here. If you're going to play outside, stay in our yard. Don't go anywhere else because I don't want him to get in trouble. And that lady came down here for to start more drama. She came down here for no reason. Like, I already handled it. I, like, you don't think my kids are going to come down here and tell me you shook a rake at my dog? Yes, they are. But when she was down here, she was like, will you get this dog? I was like, it ain't my dog. I don't know what you want me to say. I, he popped up in my yard. I fed him and gave him a bed. Like, that doesn't make it my dog. But it does now. When you go out and spend $300 on a fence to keep him safe, he becomes your dog. The patients were perfecting his golf swing and taking Sao Paulo's. When I think about all of us, we really should have accomplished more. We had eternity. When it's time to break into the Zenith base, what can we expect? I'll go over the full layout once you've assembled your friends. Suffice it to say, we will need to push as fast as possible to bait and guide the Exactly. Dealing with heavy... You know what's funny is, whenever she first came down here, she was like, I think that might be my dog. And then when he jumped up and bit her arm, she was like, that's definitely not my dog. I was laughing. She probably just scared because of the bad... That's true, Dean, but he's like, he literally looks like a breed of, he looks like um, a yellow lab and a pit mix. I think he's, I think he's lab and pit mix. Like a yellow lab and pit. I think he might be full-blooded pit. Dustin swears he's got yellow lab in him. He's probably right. I looked up a yellow lab and pit mix images and I found multiple dogs that looked exactly like him on there so he's not just pit but still she shouldn't have came down if she knew that that dog ran all the way back home she, she should not have come down here because she knew he was going to be here you know what I'm saying like if that sounds like you're going to look for trouble resistance along the way there are also printing facilities where the others have been amassing the natural resources they've stripped from the region 
What for? First for use in the base's infrastructure, and then to fabricate. More Spectre drones, a small army of them. When I was out in the wilds, I saw a shuttle take off from the island, heading for space. It was likely ferrying materials to and from our ship in orbit. After hundreds of years luxuriating in our digital yep. comforts, the ship was that's, barely I, I think that's what he is. We made our escape. Disaster can strike at any moment. We think that I think we should get him fixed, so I think it'll help calm him down, a dog. Just see some He's a good dog. My dog thinks he's eight foot tall. He thinks it's as big as that pit out there. He ain't. Have you figured out how silence his weapon works? You got to hear no, him bark at him at the door. It's hilarious. He I'll thinks admit it he can take him. Regardless of how it functions, I am confident it will deactivate the other shields on mass. How many of them are in the base? Ten, including Eric and Gerard. Only a handful of us made it to our ship when our colony collapsed. I'm saving the best conversation for last. It probably is her dog, but with how he attacks her, sounds like... That's what I was wondering, Dean, okay? Because I have never seen him ever be aggressive towards anybody. Like, the worse he was, he growled at the, like I said, the trash man because he picked up a trash can and was throwing the trash away. I think he thought they were going to hit me with it or something. He started growling when they picked it up. But as soon as they put it down, he walked right over to him and was, like, licking them, licking their hands and stuff. So I don't, I, he wasn't that aggressive. I don't feel like he growled because he, like a warning, like, don't hurt her. I'll fuck you up. But, um. When it comes to her, I feel like that might have been her dog and she just mistreated him to the point where he is done. But at the same time, he's really well taken care of. I don't think, like, if it was her dog, she's got to have been hitting him or something. Because he's not underfed. He's not, like, sickly. I'm a pacifist, but somebody talking crap about my dog. Just talk to only people in uniforms. I mean, true. Why do you think Elizabeth pulled away? I've wondered that for a thousand years. She was brilliant, visionary. Same reason she you do. So deeply for the world, for the betterment of humanity. What about it Aaron? It also felt like she kept everyone at arm's length, including me. She never wanted to share her burdens. I think, in the end, she had a core that she never let anyone be part of. Sometimes I wonder if anyone really knew her. I found a recording of you and Elizabeth back in the Proving Lab after Farzinet's attempt to steal Gaia. Yes. A most unpleasant conversation. She said something after the call. I think she regretted how things ended between you. Did she? All this time, thank you for telling me. I've always hated that those were the last words we ever said to each other. And that her last impression of me was as a functionary of Far Zenith, not who I truly am. Okay. I'll let you know when it's time. I'll be here until then. And thank you, Aloy, for giving me this chance. My past has always been a struggle. More than once, I've lost everything. But when I look to the future, I see Liz's dream fulfilled. A universe of new possibilities. And she started calling me Liz. We will. And her Liz. I won't let anything get in the way. I promise you that. I knew there was more to their story just because it was very personal. I knew something about a dog that kept chasing cows and attacking the trees. The dog got killed. And all that. See, that's what I don't want had to happen, David. That's why I'm getting him the collar and the fence. 
for the trash people or sit them or this other uniforms or something. They, these guys don't, though. These guys don't. They just wear regular clothes. Our trash guys are just kind of average Joes. I know I should turn this off and go to sleep, but I don't want to. I want to finish the story. Here in the U.S., the cops would have just shot the dogs because they are dicks like that. They are. They are. Hey, Bay. Hey, Candy, Bay. How's my boo thing? stuff on these or are they just sitting there why are they just sitting there can I put stuff on these token all this stuff is the same I gotta find that girl. This place smells warm. There she is. That's a crazy bitch. Thanks, man. I'm getting stuff. The whole time I've been in the West, I've been fighting you and your rebels. I'd at least like to know why. 
you were among the enemy. What more is there to know? Why did you do it? Dorok. Jiroka. Makalo. And the Karja pushed into the desert to raid our people. My brother's squad was among the first to intercept them. But the Karja captured them, strung them up, and burned them alive as an example. It was too late. I found them by the sound of their screams. So you wanted vengeance? Vengeance? No. I wanted devastation. To tear down the Karja's cities and drown the land in blood. Hunt down every last survivor and grind their bones until the sky chokes on the dust. But my chief betrayed me. Betrayed Is it? How did Hikaru betray? Pashav told me how he became a marshal. He earned it just like any Tanakh. It was an insult. No outlander can ever do. And then Akarja messenger was brought. That's what I knew. I had to run rag his treacherous corpse. What happened when the Karja messenger... In a quivering priest bore a message from their new king. Suddenly the Karja wanted to talk peace. And in this... A true Danak wouldn't their blood exist to be spilled. But a Karo lapped up the face showed himself a Karja loving traitor when he... And lost. His mercy was just another sign. I vowed never to rest until the debt was repaid. It hanged. So with an army of soldiers, I finished the day you got in my way. The deal you made. Override tech in exchange for an assault on the Zenith base. How did Silence approach you? That name means nothing to me. My agreement was with Asaram mercenaries. So all this time, you didn't even know who you were really dealing with? And you trusted a group of outlanders? If it was a trick, I would have crushed them. But they offered me the chance to run the Karja down with machines. The terror in your enemy's eyes when they see you charge. I bet you felt it. I don't think so. What about your end of the deal? Would you have honored it? Had I killed a Karl and become chief, these Zeniths would have been the first of the tribe's victories. But because of you, my people will continue to consort with the enemy. A tribe of weaklings. Because of me, hundreds of Tanakh won't throw away their lives in a battle they can't win. <laughs> Are you really going to fight alongside me? I have no reason to. Really? I failed to kill Hakaro, failed to eliminate you. The Karja remain out of my reach, coward. All I have left are the screams of those long dead, and so show me where to bury it. All right. I guess we'll... Ever since you got in my way, I've wanted to see your bones burned white beneath the sun. But if I'm to die in battle, then it might as well be with the one who flew with the wings of the tent. I'll let you know when it's time to move out. Let's go see silence. After I talked to May. Aloy, you came back with some interesting friends. Wish I could say we don't need them, but some even with Gala. Yeah, enemy of my enemy and all that, right? Right. You, uh, talk I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. <clears throat> you say she wants to help? I think so. 
Doesn't look like any of our guests are... Yet. So, Gatala tells me you flew. I've been busting my bolts trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't worry. You'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. In the Zenith. Looking forward to it. Why don't you teach him how to ride? I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping he'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his? After everything what? he's done? Sure. No, no Kenny. Right now, he's got something we need. I better get good. Oh, you know where to go. That's my bay. Did he need something? Bravo. You managed to sway a zenith to your side. Hey, chaotic! Not a chance. I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. But that's not why you're here. I assume you want to comprehend. I hate the way he talks. So ask me. Since when were you? Hi, Roberta. Since you turned this into a beauty game. And as it seemed you have found modest success. Perhaps I'm willing to be generous. Okay, so your big plan, everything you've been manipulating for the last few months. Let me see if I got this straight. Oh, you learned thank about you. The from Hades. Crafty you gamer. It, and you came up with a plan to defeat Thanks, them Kenny. by using a Tanakh army and that weapon. And to get the Tanakh to fight for you, you, or rather the sons of Prometheus, armed Regala's rebels with override tech. Did you have an actual question, or are you still playing catch up? So, all this time, even before I found the coordinates at the spire, you were out here scheming. Why couldn't you just tell me? When I learned of the Zenith's return to Earth, I laid out my plan. I knew I would one day require an army of overzealous Tanakh to assault the Zenith base. The casualties would be extreme. And I knew you would never allow such a sacrifice, no matter how necessary. Thus, I devised a means to remove your interference from the equation at the Hades Proof Lab. Why create the Sons of Prometheus? You didn't need a bunch of Osirum tinkerers to make override tech. They were a necessary safeguard. Here's Zavala. My time serving Hades and Eclipse demonstrated the risks of being no involved. Through the Sons of Prometheus, I could execute my plans, all while remaining anonymous. You wanted me to surrender to the Zenith of the Hades Proving Lab. They almost killed me. Based on everything I knew about them, I concluded they would find you a useful asset. Thereby keeping you out of harm's way, and more importantly, out of my way. So you really didn't know they had their own clone of Elizabeth? No. Unfortunately, there was no way I could have known that particular detail. Detail? Well, I guess if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here today. So he almost had me killed. He's in destiny too. Tell me about the weapon. How I've upgraded the delivery system. It now emits a wave-like effect covering a significant distance. That doesn't fully answer my question. No, but I'd be a fool to reveal its inner workings. After all, why did you withhold your plan for dealing with the Zenith drones? Yes, even you can appreciate the value of secrecy when warranted. Suffice it to say that the weapon will work. The intricacies of how is knowledge that is mine alone. I mean, I could take the bitch apart. Why help Regala take over? If you want- Before Regala's rebellion, her cart battling machines and fostering friendships with the Karja. Even if I gained his ear, he would never agree to send his forces to battle a threat he couldn't understand. So helping a bloodthirsty exile- Yes, exceedingly so. All Regala craved was war, 
against the Kanja and anyone who threatens them. She would have led the tribe into battle without question, which was precisely what I... While I was out there, I had a couple run-ins with the Quen. The tribe from across the ocean. And? Their entire tribe spot, was shaped yeah, around the Discovery focuses. Titan, One of them, oh, Alva, oh, even joined me here. Don't you want to know more? Wait a minute, Dean. No. He voices that girl downstairs. What did they do with it? They shrouded the knowledge they unearthed in mysticism and taboo, creating a pantheon out of corporate shields. Yes, well, it also led them to Thebes. Did it now? So those run-ins with the Quen I mentioned. On one of them, I teamed up with their expedition to search Thebes. We found Pharaoh at the end. You must have needed Omega clearance. So, what was it like? Worse than you can imagine. He single-handedly wiped out collective human knowledge. I'm sure it was still less than he deserved. Let me guess. You would have scraped him into a jar so you could prod his brain, like what you did with Hades. For a start. <laughs> All right, Silence. I think I've talked to you long enough. I'll let you know when it's time to go. And oh! Try not to mess with Tilda while you're in here, okay? I don't need the two of you butting heads. Ah, uh, yes. About your Zenith ally. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're dealing with. For someone to live as long as she has, outlast as many calamities. Well, your goals may be aligned now, but I'd watch for the moment they diverge. Yeah, I'm aware. Reminds me of someone else I know. Survival is only a necessity to my greater purpose, Ava. I'd hoped you'd recognize that by now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this, you just call it a feeling. Oh, a feeling? You mean you finally had one? Huh. Guess even you can change, Silence. It's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before that? Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. We'll finish it tomorrow. I gotta go to get to bed. I got to get up early in the morning. I got date plans with my sister-in-law. So let's go save the game. I really want to keep playing, but I'm so tired. And my head is hurting. And my nose is hurting. And my chest is actually hurting a lot, so... I hope everybody enjoyed it as much as I have. I love you guys. I'm going to go get some sleep. And I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. I don't know. I'd like to play it tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm sorry, Kenny. I'm just really tired. I'm, I don't feel good. I've been here for three hours, boo. Good night. Good night, Dean. Good night, Roberta. Be have fun tomorrow. Good night. I know you're safe. I'll try. Good night, Russell.